So I'm Tony Pickard, and um, I'm working with a new campaign for uh, that's, that aims to bring a basic guarantee, a basic income guarantee for everyone in Canada. I'm going to be speaking about basic income guarantee and the, and the current campaign in Canada to try to bring in an expanded basic income guarantee. The, the main point is that people who live um, on very low incomes are as various as those of us who have more income and their problems are very different from one person to the next. Um, most, but it is important for people to know that most of the people who live um, with very little income are working. Um, not all of them. And first of all, a quarter of them are children and so they're not working and um, some number, I'm not sure what number in Kingston or in the, in the country for that matter, are people with disabilities who are unable to work and others are people over 65 who have gotten beyond the working age. Um, even working two and three part-time jobs sometimes people can't make ends meet because the minimum wage is so low and costs are increasing and, and um, in certain places like Kingston Housing is very expensive and there's no vacancy rate. I would rather everybody thought first about how can we make it all better for everyone rather than how can I make my life just a little bit better right now. Um, and We're not doing as well as we could so I think most people are, are generally wanting to know that we're all moving ahead and that's not happening. It's been harder and harder these days and uh, in Kingston housing prices are, are outrageous. We have uh, one of the highest rates of mental health and addictions in Ontario, uh, all kinds of uh, all kinds of reasons why we're not doing as well as we could. Uh, it's so going beyond the economic picture, um, there are all kinds of social issues that need to be addressed, and a lot of those would be alleviated with the basic income. Political parties are just frantically afraid of using the tax word, and it's it's not really a question of paying more taxes. It's a question of rearranging the tax code and that's why our main effort initially and what I was doing here today was an, an, an example of it is to get the word out to get information out to tell people about it to get them thinking about it and seeing how much sense it makes this is it needs to become policy like a political party would bring this forward as a, a policy plank in their election platform for example so there's an election coming up in the spring uh, the there the liberals are talking about this issue Hugh Siegel of the conservatives mind you he's federal but um, for the provincial campaign this is something it seems like it's on the radar in Kingston so you'll hear political parties talking about it and uh, they may or may not develop their own policy statement so in which they would say that they they as a party adopted this policy and wanted to move it forward and so if that happens then it becomes an election issue and then people get to go and vote based on this issue. As a young lawyer I worked in um, a law office where all of our clients were welfare recipients and so I came to know a lot of poor people and I came to know the problems they were up against and it gave me um, a great sense of the extent to which it's luck that I'm not poor. It's just pure luck. The family I happen to be born in, the time I was born into, whatever qualities I have that I was born with, it's pure luck. And so many people uh, are suffering desperate lives in poverty because they've had bad luck. So when you know about how hard and how un on anything, unsatisfying, unrewarding, unpleasurable, uninteresting, un intolerable. The lives of people who don't have enough money to eat are. You just feel like you need to do something about it if you can. That's why I'm here.